What's up guys, this is Andre or Chokenator if you know me from my stream. And today I'm going to teach you how to color animation using the fill tool. At least this is how I do it. And I've prepared a bit of a demonstration canvas for you guys. So on the left side here, I've drawn some balls just so I can demonstrate how the fill tool works. And on the right side here, I drew this sort of gooey looking dude who I have animated to sort of loop around and his eyes loop around just like this and you'll see. So he sort of just loops around like that. And I'm, uh, today I'm going to color him. Uh, so before I get to that, I want to show you how I, uh, how I do it using these balls here. And just like an illustration, I put the balls here in the top layer and right below it, I have this layer that's, it's still blank, but this is where I'm going to put the color in. And let's say I want to color these balls, you know, red, which I have selected, um, you know, just to take a step back. So back in the day, um, when animators had to paint every single cell, they would just take a brush and sort of, you know, try to not uh, color outside the lines and fill in every single frame uh, with their brush. And since we're using a computer program, we don't even we don't want to do that. We want to be able to fill in these balls with a single click. So we do have a tool called the called the fill tool. In other programs, it's called the paint bucket tool, and it looks like a paint bucket. It's up here, right here. Some of you might have uh, your toolbox in a different location, but this is where mine is, and this is and you should be able to find the fill tool. Now, if I click inside here with the fill tool, you can see all the colors in the ball. But there is a problem here. The default fill tool will not give you a perfect fill on the ball, especially if your brush is not totally opaque or if your brush has a little bit of a, some gray areas like this. Um, it's not a perfect fill. And that's unfortunate. And it's very similar to if I were to take a magic wand and select that and then you know edit, fill with foreground color, you still see that little halo here, which we don't want. Now there is a function using the fill tool. If you go to tool options, which I have here, if you don't see tool options, you can go to settings, dockers, tool options. Now there is a function here called grow selection. So basically it's kind of like the magic wand that if you were to fill in, or if you were to select the inside of the ball and grow the selection by one pixel, you actually do get a perfect fill. And you can do that every time with these balls. Now, um, some of you might have different, uh, you know, different brushes that you use for the outlines. Now, some of you might want to use two or three pixels, but for me, if I use, it's, if I say uh, I'm going to grow the selection by four pixels, for me, it's going to spill over. So that's going to happen. Now, some of you might like that, some of you might want that, but for me, I always keep the grow selection at one pixel, and that's how I get a perfect fill. Now, pretty much, uh, once you've done that. I'm going to go into the GUI boy layer here. This is where the line art is for the GUI boy. And right below it, I have a blank color layer. Now, for for colors, so I, I mentioned in the last tutorial that every layer has its own set of frames. So what I'm going to do is for every single frame where his location changes, I'm going to create a new frame. So hopefully you've set your hotkeys by now, and I'm going to use my hotkeys to scroll through. I'm going to create a new frame here in the first uh, frame and scroll through the frames and create a new layer. You can see it happening down here for every time he changes location. So I've drawn, I've animated on, the, on every other frame here. So I'm going to pretty much put this on every other frame. So I'm in the color layer right now, layer six, and I'm going to keep scrolling through, keep creating new layers until I reach his end position. which is right there. Now that's, this is a copy of the first frame, so I'm just gonna loop it around. So I've created new frames, and what I wanna do is I wanna color him yellow. So I'm gonna take a yellow color right here in my color picker, and I'm, I'm simply gonna just click on his face, and there, there you have it. It's really fast, uh, really awesome, and it saves me a lot of time. So I'm gonna color his eyes white, and there you have it. There's uh, white in his eyes. And I'm going to, let's say I'm going to make his mouth sort of a purplish, reddish mouth color here and put that in there. Use my fill tool to put that in there. So it's very fast, but you can see because I've created new frames on every single frame where there is uh, a change in location, that means I'm going to have to do it on every single frame. So I'm going to use my eyedropper and grab the yellow color, use my paint bucket tool, and pretty much tap his color in on every single frame. And as you can see, this function is really fast.
Same thing with the white. I'm going to color in his eyes. And it's very pleasing to do this. I remember when I first discovered this, I was very satisfied with how quick and easy this is. So same thing, I'm gonna use my eyedropper, grab the color of the mouth, and fill in his mouth. And I'm just using my hotkeys to scroll through the frames. And there you have it. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see him loop around. I'm going to highlight the layers using the shift key and clicking here just so I can make it loop. And if I hit my playback button, there you have it. That guy is looping around. So that's pretty much the basics. You guys should be able to figure out maybe how to sell shade, um, anything like that, any other types of uh, coloring that you want to do. But that's pretty much a demonstration of how, to, how I use the fill tool. Um, you want to be really careful. If I were to, uh, just, just one last thing before I end the video here. If I were to draw another ball here, but I didn't close the line like that, and if I leave a little opening there, and I try filling it in, in the layer underneath, it's gonna pretty much fill in the whole canvas. I'm gonna try to take a red color here, and it's pretty much gonna fill the whole canvas. So you wanna make sure that in your line layer, that, that your lines are fully closed that there's no, nowhere for the color to escape. So I'm gonna go back to the color layer here, use my fill tool and fill it in. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was clear. If this is not clear and you have any more questions, I can make a follow-up video. Um, and hopefully that helps you guys out. So see you later, peace out, and uh, yeah, see you all next time.